All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Urutia here going over unit four, lesson one, practice problem number five. Okay, here we have a graph um, very similar to problems that we were seeing in the last unit. So we'll go ahead and start by reading the problem. The store, a store is designing the space for rows of nested shopping carts. Each row has a starting cart that is four feet long, followed by the nested carts. So zero nested carts means that there is just a starting cart. The store measured a row of 13 nested carts to be 23 and a half feet long and a row of 18 nested carts to be 31 feet long. Okay, so now this problem is one like we did with the cups, and that is because right here, a starting starting cart that is four feet long. Because of that starting cart, every cart is going to add a different, it's going to add the same amount, but it's just not starting at zero. So this is saying zero nested carts means that there's already four feet, okay? Now, the other part that we know is this. 13 carts is 23 and a half feet, and 18 carts is 31 feet. Because of this, because of the starting cart, this is not proportional. The starting number is not zero, so it's not going to multiply. And if you were to divide 23 and a half divided by 13, and 31 divided by 18, you're not gonna get the same number, so we can't multiply. So now here, what we wanna do is graph the situation. We can take the numbers that we know here and graph it, okay? So first thing we need to do is label the axes, what we want, to, what, what we want them to be. This axis here is going to be the number of carts. This axis is going to be the uh, feet. Okay, so now when I go to label my axes, I want you to see here the numbers. I go all the way up to 13 and to 18. If I go by ones, I'm not gonna get enough, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's not gonna be enough. So I'm gonna go by twos on this axis. Okay, now the axis for feet, I want you to see here, I go all the way up to 23 and a half and 31. So again, I'm not gonna go by ones because I'm not gonna have enough. I go, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I'm gonna go by fours on this axis. Okay, and then just remember when you're going on, when you're making your scale, it doesn't matter what you go by as long as you can fit all the information. I went by these numbers because I want to get 23 and a half. I wanted to get 31 in my graph. Those numbers don't come up on the axis, but that is okay because I can graph it. So I'm going to graph the first one. Z this is That's this one right here. Zero nested carts is four feet. So zero carts, zero carts is four feet. That's that point right there. The next point that I'm going to put is 13 nested carts. 13 is right in the middle of 12 and 14. I'm going to go all the way up to 23 and a half. So that's somewhere right here in the middle between 20 and 24, probably closer to the 24, right there. And it's okay if when you're doing your graph, it does not fit exactly on the axis. That's okay. All right, the second last point I'm going to put here is 18 is 31. 18 carts comes out there. 31 is going to be right below the 32, somewhere about right here. And you can see that my three points are lining up. So that's how I know that I am on the right track to draw a graph. Now I'm going to draw my line going all the way across the axis here. Okay, now for question number two, how much does each nested cart add to the length of the row? Explain your reasoning. What that question is really asking me is for the slope of this line. Okay, another way that you've seen it worded is rate of change. So I really wanna see the rate of change and I'm gonna draw a line here, a slope triangle here with the numbers, okay? 
So now this red line here is the change in the number of carts. How many carts is it from here to here? Well, that's from 13 to 18. That's five carts. Now the other number, my other side here in the triangle, which is right here, this is the number of feet that it changes. What is this change of feet? Well, I know that it's from 23 and a half. That's where this point is right here. All the way up to 31 feet. So that's going to be 20, 31 minus 23 and a half, which is seven and a half feet. So now with this slope triangle, I have five carts <clears throat> at seven and a half feet. So to answer here, I'm going to write out that ratio, seven and a half feet and five carts. And now what I want to do is I want to find out what it is for one cart. So I'm going to divide, which is one and a half feet per cart. Now, part C, if a store allows for 43 feet in each row, how many carts will fit in the row? Well, I can see that here in my, I can see that in the graph, right? Where is 43? 43 feet is right here. Where does that line up with the number of carts? Right there, which is right here with 26. So that point here, I'm going to do it in black. So that's this point right here. This point right here is 43 feet and 26 carts. That's one way to do it as you see it on the graph. The Another way to do this problem here is to use what's happening here, right? You're multiplying by one and a half and then adding four every time. If you were to do one and a half times 26, then plus four, it would be 43. All right. So good review problem here on the previous unit. Just remembering here that because there is a zero carts means uh, four feet long that it's not proportional. So you have to draw the graph and then draw a slope triangle. All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.